So today I really want to clean out my main drawer and I want to add a liner and make this perfect for working on nails. So we're just going to take everything out. First, we're going to give it a wipe out. I just got this new scent. Anything mango is my favorite. I should actually have gloves on doing this. glove okay I'm also going to get some gel remover on a wipe and kind of just go over some of the spots. Gel is so messy and it's so hard to get off, especially if it leaks. Okay, we are going to put piece of liner in here. That one's too short. I'm also going to wipe out all my bins. So this bin just has my bits and that's about it. I kind of just keep one of my lip balms. I'm going to put my cuticle oil in there. This is one of my summer releases from last year. Is that going to close? It's not going to close. Okay. That can go beside it for right now. Then in this one. So just gonna give it a quick wipe. I keep my titanium dioxide powder. This I use for baby boomers. I always have that close by because I use it a lot. Big giant lip balm that reminds me of a glue stick. I'm gonna put that in the other bin. I also keep my Glitter Mix Canada foil gel in here and the Glitter Mix Canada Bling It. Those are two art things that I reach for quite a bit. And this is where I just keep brand new files. This one here is the one I use for removing the sharpness on the sides. That is going to fit in there. This section here is just my main gels. Nothing's actually sticky in this drawer because I'm very OCD about that. But I just want to wipe some of the dust off. What brands do you guys use as your main line? I've been using Fusion for a very long time. I can't even imagine ever not using it. One product I don't really like from them is their top coat. So I always use Magic Gel for that. There's nothing wrong with their top coat. Just for me and my clients, it don't work out. I like a top coat that stays shiny. And I had a lot of feedback on that one from my clients saying that it didn't last very long. Okay, so we have Fusion 2.5, which is just their clear builder gel. 
sculpture, which I use for forms. Clear base, my favorite. And SL Undercover is my main builder gel. This one is like the most beautiful pink. My clients love this one. And I just have their grip chin and primer. The Magic Hyper Shine Top Coat and Ugly Duckling Matte Top Coat. So that I like to have directly beside me. Next we have my brush bin. These are all of my main brushes. I'm just going to give this one a quick wipe with some gel solution. I used to have my brushes in a holder, like a brush holder, but I didn't really like that. I like a dump and go type of storage. And this just works out better for me. These are just my main gel brushes that I use all the time. And I also keep some coarse sanding bands in this little bin. These ones are fine grit for finished filing. And I keep my lint-free wipes. I just switched over to these, so I'm going to have to find another container. Because they don't sit very flat down. Just give you a quick overview here. Much better. I need to find some more stuff to go in here. <laughs> I really want to do a desk tour for you guys, but my desk is still in a mess. I will show you just briefly. That one, and then this one here is all my prep products that are not my main prep products, but ones that I still use and reach for. Then we have three drawers of essentials here. This side is still an absolute bomb. <laughs> this is like the only drawer that I have done that I'm happy with. Absolute mess, don't know what to put in there. Oh, this one I think I did organize a little bit too. I just need to print labels and put on the top. And the bottom one is kind of like a free for all right now. Just has like a first aid kit, band-aids, my business insurance papers, <laughs> um, funnel, these wipes that I'm desperately trying to use up to get rid of, and scissors and stuff there. Top is actually a mess too. <laughs> I need to do that today. I've been just filming a review on the Savvy Land kit. That's what I have on my nails right now. They feel a little bit thin, so we'll see how that holds out. I just want to give you a little update on my nail art card. I'm actually not sure what you would have seen last, but I have my stamping plates on the top. I'm still waiting for some more of these to come in so I can finish organizing that. Then this half here is all water decals. Decals, decals, whatever you want to call it. So this row here and these three and this one are water decals, decals. And then these two rows here are all my just like stick on stickers. So the I bottom bin I'm still kind of working on. I just have some AliExpress stuff that needs to be hauled. Two extra bins that I can't fit up top. My label maker and that's the giveaway basket. My label maker is so bulky, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put that yet. My neighbor built me this cute stand for my small business stuff. Um, these little bins are from Dollar Tree. I just got six of them and he like designed that and stained it for me. I love my neighbors, they are incredible people. I just have cuticle oil pens up top. We have some lip scrub kits, cuticle oil kits, lots of cuticle oils here, some little soap, lip scrubs. I actually want to take everything off and organize this today. 
I find the black shelf gets really dusty in my nail room. A little update on my polish racks. I have the Ugly Duckling polishes moved over there. And this is the Gary. I think the brand is called. They're both a little bit different, but it's all the same brand. They're just switching names, I'm assuming. I, re I bought all these like in the past month. <laughs> I kind of bought one, fell in love, and then ended up getting the whole set. The gaps are just like ones that are coming in the mail. And on the bottom rack, I just have some stamping polishes. And this one, there's stuff coming for there. <laughs> and all of my other ones have stayed the same. I also keep like the rose quartz ones in there that I need to take pictures of. And a little ring for some colors, a jar up top for putting water in for water decals. This is just a tip that I'm working on for a TikTok and I put my clear jelly stamper polishes in here. This used to be full of stuff for videos but I switched it all to clear jelly stamper polishes because I reach for these a lot. So there's just four drawers of those. I think I actually prefer them in here. We'll see how that goes though. The top one, I don't know what to put in there yet. Probably a new brand of polishes that I have coming. And this one stayed the same. What are you guys' plans for today? I just have to, actually I don't even know if I mentioned this yet, but my Press on Nails recently went to a shop that is local in town. So I have been working on a bunch of sets for the spring and summer to have lots of stock over there. I think I currently have 40 sets over there. So we are just going to finish file these ones. Actually, I should have a glove on because I do not want to damage this cone. I've never actually worn this shape of nails before, so <laughs> we will see how they are going to hold out. I feel like I'm going to rip through this in a matter of a minute. <laughs> okay. So I will just fast forward me doing these and I will show you how they look at the end. I want to start doing some summer ones because I got a bunch of summer nail art stuff in. And then, so this is my packaging, a little bit off track here. I just make these cards on Vistaprint. No, I don't make them on Vistaprint. I make them on Canva and I print them on Vistaprint. Sometimes I print them on Canva as well, but I find the quality is not as good or it's not that it's not as good, it's just the color is a little bit different between the two and I prefer how Vistaprint does mine. So I just put them in this solo bag and then I it's a little bit too big so I just like to put like a sticker on the back here and it keeps it down like this. I will also put a tag on like what size they are. And that's about it. 
I really want to know how you guys do your press on businesses. I'm totally open to like all suggestions. I've only been doing press ons for a little bit since COVID, so I'm not sure. It's a whole, like, there's no right or wrong way to do it. Like, if you want to charge $200 a set, if you feel like that is what your art is worth, then all the power to you. I think that is absolutely amazing. Or do you charge, like, anywhere between $35 and $50 for a set of nails? I want to know. That is it for today's vlog. I didn't have a whole lot going on here. Just wanted to finish these, clean out that drawer, show you my nails. I have a ton of videos, like 200 gigabytes on a couple cards here that I need to get out for you guys. So you might not see this one for a long time. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you all create some beautiful nails or you watch a lot of videos with people creating beautiful nails. Whatever you choose to do today, I hope it is fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.